Hi, this is Nabil Asif from Click Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how Click's data and analytics platform can bring together your organization's best analytical minds and enable them to do wonderful things with data. We'll start with a conversation between an executive and our Click champion. The executive has just sponsored the deployment of Click Data Catalyst, a platform that will make data from across the business available for analytics. So let's jump into this conversation where the executive is talking to our Click champion. Mate, I know you've built some great ClickSense apps from the data we've got in QDC, but I'm told we've got huge amounts of text and semi-structured data that nobody has ever touched. Can you show me what kind of analysis we could do with this data? And our ever enthusiastic Click champion responds, sure. When can I get my hands on the data? But the data is securely behind red tape at the moment, and our champion is told to go find a suitable data set to demonstrate what is possible, so that the executive can get certain data hoarders on board with Click Data Catalyst. So after a bit of Googling, our champion finds the full text of the Lord of the Rings in a JSON file. The file contains huge blobs of text, one blob per chapter. The first step is to onboard the JSON file into the Click Data Catalyst. This is fairly straightforward, and we can see that the data has been successfully onboarded using a local JSON file connection. QDC has also converted the data to a tabular format, more suitable for analytical applications. We have parsed the JSON file and created one row per chapter. This is the catalog view of QDC, where we can search across all the data assets onboarded onto the platform. We can search for the Lord of the Rings and find related entities. And this is where QDC is very different from other cataloging tools. We can take action and deploy our selected entities directly to an analytics application. In this case, click Sense. Click's augmented intelligence helps us dive straight into the analytics experience. Our champion heads to the Insights Advisor, which is aware of the fields available in our dataset. Here we can simply start searching, and Click's cognitive engine will generate insights for us. So let's check how many chapters we have. And how about per book? Let's look at the text itself now and search for chapters with ends. So we have 10 chapters with ends. And they only appear after the first book. So, a coffee or two later, our champion has built a bit more intelligence into the app. We've broken down the text by paragraphs, and now, with our smart search, we could identify all the paragraphs with Gandalf, for example. But to really do more interesting things with large amounts of text, we need to turn to data science. Our champion saves the data modeling they did in ClickSense to QED files, which become available in the Data Catalyst, not just for ClickSense, but for other third-party applications, or even just for export in various formats. With this, our champion goes to their data scientist friend and asks them to do a bit of magic. The data scientist is delighted to find nice, clean, prepared data ready to be deployed from QDC. And since she loves a lot of rings, our data scientist is happy to help. In fact, there is a powerful open source library for natural language processing that the data scientist has been wanting to try out. So she runs the text through Spacey to identify named entities in the text. This is all done to, through a pre-trained deep learning model that comes out of the box with Spacey.
we jump back to our champion again. The results of the entity recognition from Spacey can now be onboarded to our enterprise data catalog. This is generally done by data engineers, but it is a simple enough task. And we can see here that our data has been loaded successfully. And all records have been determined to be of good quality by the data catalyst. This new entity will now be available in our catalog and can be deployed to our existing ClickSense app. We now have a sheet in the app to explore entities in the Lord of the Rings. Let's search for Gandalf. And we can see that Spacey identified a couple of different variants of this entity. Uh, we see that Gandalf is correctly identified as a person most of the time, which is great. But with some further analysis, our champion realizes that Frodo is being considered a country, city or state. And Bilbo seems to be a company, agency or institution. So with the help of ClickSense, our champion identifies some of the more obvious mistakes the model has made. and downloads the data. These samples can then be corrected and fed back into Spacey to retrain the model. Our deep learning model improved significantly after retraining, and we now have version two of our entities. The data scientists published version two of these entities to QDC as well, and now we've got them into our ClickSense app. Let's do a comparison with the first model on the left and our new and improved model on the right. We can see that most common entity type is now person, which is as expected since the Lord of the Rings is full of rich characters. And the most common person is Frodo, which means our model now recognizes him as a person rather than a country. And look here, our model now understands a brand new concept a faction in Middle Earth. This is something we trained the model on with just a couple of hundred paragraphs, but it's working great and it recognizes factions like hobbits, elves, and orcs. From here, our clip champion went one step further. ClickSense can integrate with Python as well, and our data scientist previously built a reusable Python function for market basket analysis. Our champion has used this function to find relationships between entities in the Lord of the Rings. So we can see on this sand key here that wherever we find Aragorn and Gimli, we have high likelihood of finding Legolas. And let's zoom in on this scatter plot, which is colored by the confidence we have in a relationship. Now you probably know that Gollum and Smeagol were the same character, possibly with multiple personality disorder. Uh, but it's amazing to find this insight starting with raw text and running it through machine learning and data science techniques. And we can find other verifiable insights here. For example, the most common relationship is that of Sam and Frodo. With ClickSense, we can make this experience interactive. So we can include less common entities. And now we see another recognizable insight. Ends usually appear together with Treebeard. Our click champion is thrilled to show off this app to the executive, but they've inconveniently left for a business trip. Luckily, this organization has embraced Click's multi-cloud platform. Our champion syncs the app from their on-premise ClickSense environment to the cloud and sends a note to the executive. And the executive can log into Click Cloud services using two-factor authentication and grow to the analysis presented in this app. and start to get very excited about the kinds of insights that could be found in the company's text data. We went from raw text to some impressive insights. You saw how the Click Data Catalyst enabled our data scientist and business analyst to find and share data assets and work together to deliver these insights. In a real world environment with cross-functional teams and hundreds of data sources, Click Data Catalyst can enable and speed up analytics across your enterprise 
with trusted business-ready data. You also saw how ClickSense worked great with semi-structured data and helped us deliver insights driven by advanced analytics to key stakeholders to an intuitive and elegant user experience. Click's data and analytics platform can be an agent of transformation for your organization, enabling you to deliver insights across the business. Thanks for watching, and I hope this inspires you to lead with data. Thank you.